Today, I want to show you SharePoint Document Generator. This is the second time because last week I was already presenting a similar app in the SharePoint Framework version, but today we are talking about a real Teams application, um, but it's still usable across various MAM365 products. And we have some additional capabilities, of course, today. Quick intro about me. My name is Markus Möller. I'm a Microsoft 365 developer expert for Avanade in Germany. I'm a Microsoft MVP since 2021. And you can reach me on Twitter or via my blog. And quick retro uh, and also an introduction into the different scenarios for those uh, Microsoft 365 across apps. We can render the same app or slightly different on various products, but it's only hosted once. And uh, we can do this, for instance, with a personal app. And last week, I showed you how to do this with SPFX. And today, I want to show you how to do this with a Teams native app. I call it this way because it could be either a Yo Teams app or a Teams Toolkit app. And additionally, what I can show you today and I, there I will concentrate on is that we also have the capability of search-based messaging extensions to enrich our Compose box in either Teams or Outlook. And this is where I will introduce to the document generation review process. So let's kick the demo off. And only very quick, I will show you uh, something similar than last week. Last week, I was presenting you the F SPFX Office Generator. Today, I show you this one in Teams. It's slightly different because here I'm using the out-of-the-box available Fluent UI React North Star controls instead of the normal Fluent UI controls last week. And then I quickly enter some dates here. Come on. We'll also enter a price. Same like here. You can also manipulate it that way. We have a VAT and we have a description. We don't make it too long today because we want to quickly rush through here. Kick this off. Document is generated. A link is there. I can already also directly jump over and show you that guy here. It's our PNP4 demo, um, not yet visible in Word, but we can see our metadata here. We can also quickly open it here. Outlook Webex says does not show the metadata, and I'm skipping today. Open it in Word. Um, there you in Word desktop app, you would directly see the metadata included as well. We can render the same app in Microsoft Outlook. There we have an app button. We have our offer creation, your Teams version. And here we have the same app. And I skip to add another document, but I will quickly show you the third option. This is in Microsoft 365. There we also have apps. And we also have our personal apps here, the SPFX version from last week and the offer creation, your Teams from this week. And this is the document generator. Now let's jump and therefore we can close this. Um, now let's jump to the second capability, the search based messaging extensions. So when we have installed the app and also added the app to a specific team, we have a search based messaging extension here. Or in fact, they are there are even two. We have the review and the publish one. Let's start with the review thing and let's maybe pick a document from last week. We can pick it and we have it here as an adaptive card. It's jumping over a bit. And this is already, no, this was the review doc. Sorry, I picked the wrong one. Let's simply do it again. Come on. Now let's take that one from today. We have to send the message first. Then we could this in a reviewed state. And with universal action model of adaptive cards, it's directly updating and showing up the reviewed date. We can also quickly check uh, the metadata here. There we have also our reviewed date, which was just entered um, during this process. 
the same works in Outlook. In Outlook, we jump back to our mails, and here we can create this uh, in a new mail. So we have in our Compose box, we click Apps, we find our U Teams generator, and now I show you also, maybe you haven't seen this uh, so often. I was also not aware of that this is possible uh, till I checked it out here. We have the possibility to even have two search base or more search base messaging extensions. So we can switch here from the review one to the publisher one. And for this process, I directly classified my documents as reviewed. And this is currently in public preview. So I have to send it, unfortunately, to myself because I'm the only developer preview user. Send the message to myself. Should occur in my inbox here. Then I can click on publish. This takes a bit longer because publish is not only a metadata modification. Uh, normally, this should work in a way that it's uh, updating the file also as a PDF. Wondering what gets wrong here. At least we have a submit date here. We have an offering submitter. And what might get wrong here, what I also try to do is, no, that's also fine. So I wonder, wonder where the error message comes. But this is also what I wanted to achieve, that I not only uh, set the document to publish in terms of metadata. I also want to have a final PDF document. And here you can also see the metadata inside. Um, I'm using a simple Office uh, document template here. Of course, this can be done much prettier than I did. These were the capabilities to show you today. And here are the additional ones in terms of adaptive card and publishing, which is not possible that way with SharePoint Framework. So I couldn't show it last week. But now let's flip and uh, quickly introduce you how this gets realized. The first thing, once again, is uh, the SSO part um, for the tab application. Um, I already showed this slide uh, a while ago, but I want to stress this once again. When you achieve SSO in a Teams tab, please, please do everything you can in the backend so server side. So the only thing what you should do client side is um, get a bootstrap token, which is only the identity token, and then shift it to the server together with the information what you want to do. And finally, only retrieve the final result. And this is what I'm doing in my tab application. So like generating the doc here. So once again, do not do anything else client side. What I'm additionally doing here, I'm using behind the scenes because I'm coming from the SharePoint framework uh, sample as well. I'm using behind the scenes, uh, most of the things I'm using SharePoint REST API. And it's, sim uh, it's, it's quite easy, uh, also available that you use Teams tab SSO with the SharePoint REST API instead of Microsoft Graph. And what I'm doing here is I'm simply retrieving the site domain from my context. And then I'm constructing from the site domain the scope. So I do not have a graph, uh, Microsoft.com slash default or something like that. I have a uh, yeah, Marcus Möller SharePoint.com all sites right, something like that scope. And then I directly get a token which I can use against the SharePoint REST API. The second part is um, the, the, the SSO for the bot, which is, uh, lies under the messaging extension. Um, and here I want to quickly introduce you what happens um, for the sign-in. The sign-in is handled with the bot together. Therefore, you need to establish a graph connection, which you see on the right side. In your bot, there you have your client secret, your client ID, and your token exchange URL, which is the, the endpoint URI, and also the tenant ID is necessary. And here I use a graph scope for this, by the way. And this is a, a connection which you establish in your bot configuration. And in code, you try to receive a token response. And if you do not have one, then you send back a simple window, which looks like this that the user has to sign in and consent this app. And this happens most, most of the time. This happens only the first on first usage. 
What's important to achieve those Teams applications and then extend them as Microsoft 365 apps, I uh, cannot uh, stress this enough, is we need to have a Teams manifest version 1.13 or above. And then in the first part here, we have our simple static personal tab called Over Creation. This is the document generator I showed in the beginning. And additionally, we have our Compose extension, which is here in terms is a search-based messaging extension, which is on the one hand the offer review part, and on the right, it's the offer publish part. And those are search-based messaging extensions. It's, um, yeah, you can notice this by the type, which is query here. Last not least, as I showed two demos now uh, today and last week, and to compare this a bit, some general considerations on this, why we would this or that one, um, especially um, for the front end part. Of course, SharePoint framework is simplified in terms of, in terms of hosting, but it's client side runtime only. So you do not have a backend. And it's also simplified in terms of authentication. But it can be a problem because the authentication is more or less owned by Microsoft because you have to use a service principle which comes from Microsoft. And not every tenant administrator or not every company, especially zero trust scenarios, this is a problem, uh, do not allow this at all. They have Azure AD policies which prevent this sometimes. And then you need to switch to a backend version where you have your own application uh, registration in use, and there the Teams apps are much better uh, and much com more comfortable. Yeah? But when you use this backend to switch back to the hosting, of course, you need to take care for hosting. You need to establish an Azure App Service, uh, something like this. You need to take much more care for deployment processes and so on. And these are considerations that I would take into concern when deciding which way to go when developing those kinds of apps. Last not least, my resources. It was a longer series, but mentioned here two blog posts out of my series on that app. Um, the GitHub sample in the PMP repository also available since a while already, and the general Microsoft documentation as always on Microsoft 365 apps, as, starting with the overview. And that was from my side. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome, Marcus. Very well done. I know this is a, a fast demo, but really hit it home. So thank you very, very much.